hi everybody how you doing today god bless you again in jesus name welcome to my platform the lord loves you and the lord loves me too in jesus name amen today by the grace of god i'm going to be singing i am bound for canaan are you bound for canaan are you getting ready for the coming of the lord the signs are there it shows that christ is coming very soon no one knows the time or the hour that it will be coming but we know that christ will be coming very soon in jesus name and that's why every day we want to equip ourselves with the word of god not just going to work not just going to school but we also want to make sure that we are working for christ we want to make sure that we are working for christ and that we are still serving the lord and that you are still holding on to that faith, that old-time religion, that you are still a child of God. And so today we are going to sing, I am bound for Canaan. Are you bound for Canaan? I am bound for Canaan. Get blessed as you listen to this song in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Storms do not alarm me. They sometimes must cease. Trials cannot harm me, for I have blessed peace. All I have left behind me, I long for no more. Better things shall find me on Canaan's sure let those who stay in egypt land i am bound for canaan where milk and honey flow in shall every need supply all battle fought and the victory won peace and joy my portion my soul shall rest on its shore by and by. Troubles do not fret me, they cannot abide. Though they may beset me, in Jesus I will hide. All the world's commotion about me may roam. There is no storm occasion on Canaan shore. Let those who stay in Egypt land. I am bound for Canaan, where milk and honey flow in shall every need supply all battle falls and a victory won peace and joy in my portion my soul shall rest on its shore by and by i in grace abiding i'm trying to stay in the shadow hiding of Cana's perfect day, all, all I trust may fill me. To my town no more, nothing can assail me. On Cana's room, let those who stay in Egypt land. I am bound for Canaan, where milk and honey flow in, shall every need supply, all battle faults and a victory won, peace and joy in my portion, my soul shall rest on its shore, by and by, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. This is the reason why we are singing the song today. The signs of the end time. The signs of the end time. Do you know the signs of the end time? 
Have you ever heard of this word, the signs of the end time? Do you know the things that are happening right now? And are you getting prepared for the coming of the Lord? The signs of the end time are here and they've been here. And they are showing themselves more and more. In the church, the signs of the end time is there. In our homes, we see the signs of the end time every time. Even in the family, we are seeing the signs of the end time. In the church, I repeat again, the signs of the end time are there. For the Bible said that the church will be judged. And even our families will be judged. In the society, the signs of the end time are there. In fact, in the society, you see the signs of the end time every second and every day consistently. The signs of the end time are rampant everywhere. In the government's office, they are there. Within the police, the workers, they are there. In the marketplace, you see the signs of the end time. The nature, you see the signs of the end time on the streets. The plants that God created, the signs of the end time are there. The water, the sea, the ocean, the mountains, the forest, the signs of the end time revealing itself, telling you, pointing us that Christ, our King, is coming very soon. The sea is no more being satisfied staying where god created him to be but rather the sea is coming closer to man and swallowing of swallowing man up the sign of the end time is everywhere in our nature we see the arrow kings we see different kind of disaster we see fire wildfire that was not done by man, we just come up from nowhere, destroying and killing. And man is afraid and running for his life. These are the signs of the end time. Are you prepared? Are we ready for his coming? The songwriter says, Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for the judgment day? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for the judgment day? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for the judgment day? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for the judgment day? The Lord is looking for a man that will stand in the gap to tell his people that his coming is very close. Are you that man that God wants to use? There are thousands of people the Lord is using already. Be among those people. That God has called to be used by him. And as you give your life, submit your life to him. The Lord will use you. He will use me in Jesus' name. You might say that sister is preaching the word of God. It's okay. She can be doing it. You might say that brother is preaching the word of God. It's okay. He can be doing it. God needs you too. God needs you too. Don't be like David, who was busy. He was asked to go fight war. He was supposed to be at the war. But what happened to him? David was just strolling and felt he was having a wonderful time. And he allowed the devil to use him, to use his body. And he regretted what he ever did. And sometimes some Christians don't even regret. They still continue in sin. Only the Lord will reveal it to somebody or, or, or it will catch up with them. David was still enjoying the sin. 
when he saw that he have sinned. It was only when the man of God came to him and said, Hey man, hey, King David, the Lord have seen your evil deeds before David surrendered to Christ. Nobody doesn't have to see you. You don't have to allow anybody to see you. But God has seen you. Confess your sins to Christ so that you'll be washed and cleansed with his precious blood so that you can live right so that when the trumpets sound, you will make heaven. You don't have to sin the sin that David sinned before you make heaven. God is calling you today. And so therefore we are going to read a little bit of the signs of the end time. The signs of the end time I read Matthew chapter 24. Matthew chapter 24. You can read everything for yourself. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple. And the disciples came to him for to show him the building of the temple. The building of the temple. How is the building of your temple like? The temple can be likened to a church. You worship in a very fanciful church. In a beautiful church, a well-organized church, spirit-filled or maybe. But that building one day shall be destroyed one day. And the king of glory is going to build another temple again. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Have you seen? The temple shall be thrown down. The church shall be thrown down. Your house shall be thrown down. The bridges, the beautiful bridges and the beautiful mountains shall be thrown down one day. This world shall be destroyed one day. The beautiful clothes that we so much adore, that we are wearing, we love so much, shall be destroyed one day. One day, just one day, everything shall be destroyed. The moon shall turn to darkness. The sun shall turn to darkness. Are you ready for the coming of the Lord? I'm not saying this to scare us. Or to get us ready for his coming. And to submit our body, spirit and soul to Christ. Only Christ alone. And learn how to live just. Learn how to be pure. Learn how to be holy. Like David. Like Daniel in the Bible. Yes, Daniel. Brother Daniel in the Bible. That said, I propose... I propose not to eat the king's meat. That we will not eat the king's meat. We will not indulge in sin. There are some people that don't sin, but they love others doing them. And when they are corrected, they justify those people for doing what they are doing. That means that you don't do it, but you love it. That means you partake in what they are doing. I pray today we will not partake. In any evil action in Jesus' name. Actions that are ungodly. Actions that do not glorify God. You and I will not partake in them in Jesus' name. A man sin and you love what the man is doing. You enjoy what the man is doing. And sometimes you feel, you wish you were that man. But because of where you are, because you're a Christian, you don't you 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 want to do it you know before the people you want to tell the people that you're a child of god but deep down in your heart you wish you are doing what that person is doing the lord will help us in jesus name verse 3 and as he sat upon the mount of olives the disciples came unto him privately Sometimes we need to go to God privately. Do things on your own privately. Pray on your own privately. Preach the word of God on your own privately. 
in season and out of season. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the signs of thy coming, and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. And Jesus answered them, Take heed that no man deceive you. My sister, if you are preaching, keep doing the word of God. Do not get tired. If you are preaching, you are reading the Bible. If you are praying, keep praying. Do not get tired. Don't allow any man tell you all you do is pray, 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 pray. You are reading the Bible. Don't allow any man tell you all you are doing. Read, 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 read. Continue. Be consistent with what you are doing. And grow in it. Bury your heart in it. Because this is what? is life and death. Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. No man. You are going to have people that will deceive you. People that will tell you what you are doing is not okay. And people that will scorn you. People that will make jest of you. Follow that path which you have chosen. That path is a righteous path. Follow that righteous path that you have chosen. Do not deviate. Do not go back. For many shall come in my name saying, I am Christ and shall deceive many. Have you heard? And shall do what? And shall deceive who? Many. For nations shall rise against nations. Kingdom against kingdom. I think I've not read verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nations. And kingdom against kingdoms. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Even family members against family members. If the Bible says nations shall rise against nations. Family members shall rise against family members. Brothers and sisters shall rise against brothers and sisters. But strive to make it. Strive. Be wise. Be like the five virgins who we are wise. Be wise. Some people are very wise in their eyes. And some people look so full and stupid. Sorry for the word. But Christ is encouraging you and I to be wise. Be diligent and be wise. Don't allow any man take that bad right from you. Esau allowed Jacob to take his bad right from him just because of a pottage. Just because of pottage, because he was hungry. He was hungry. And he sold out his bad right. May you never sell out your bad right for any reason in Jesus' name. Whether old, whether young, whether adult, wherever you might be, may you never sell out your bad right. Your bad right is your salvation. It's your certification to heaven. Your salvation, your certificate to heaven. Don't sell out your sanctification. Don't sell out the Holy Ghost that Christ has given to you. So many have sold their salvation. So many have sold their baptism of the Holy Ghost. So many have sold their sanctification to the devil unknown to them. So many have depreciated the gift of God in their life just to please man. I pray you and I will not please man in Jesus' name. It's not worth pleasing man because man himself will be judged. That man that you are trying to please that you feel is higher than you or she's higher than you will be judged one day. If the very heirs, if God knows your very heirs and he knows the numbers in your hair, who is that person that can stand before God? None. Hmm. For nations shall rise against nations and kingdom against kingdoms. And there shall be famine and pestilence and earthquake in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up 
to be afflicted. As a child of God, you will be afflicted. As a child of God, you are going to be mocked. You are going to be mobbed. As a child of God, they are, they are going to mock you. What I'm trying to say is that they will mock you. They will make jest of you. Look at the way you dress. You are not even beautiful. You are ugly because you don't make up like they make up. Look at the way you she's looking. All manner of talks will come to you. And you have made up your mind to serve this God. All manner of talks, insults will come to you. The Bible says, be at peace because he has overcome the world. If Christ went through the insults and the pain and still overcame the world, he that has overcome the world will keep us. In Jesus' name, endure till the end. Endure till the end. All this are the beginning of sorrow. No, let me read verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation. And kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended. Many will be what offended of the truth. Many will hear this truth and they will get angry that you are preaching to them. Many will get angry, be offended of this truth, and shall betray one another. Betrayer is already in the world. Mr. Betrayer is already in the world. Brothers and sisters betraying themselves. Husbands and wives betraying themselves. Aunties and cousins betraying themselves. Many shall betray themselves. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. I pray that the spirit of hatred will not be in our hearts in Jesus' name. The Bible said that many shall hate one another. I pray that God will destroy the spirit of hatred from our hearts in Jesus' name. And many false prophets shall rise. There are so many false prophets in the world now. And the Lord wants us to pray and open our eyes that we should know the false prophets. Those that are not genuinely serving the Lord. And God will know, help us to know them. And we'll deviate from them. We'll excuse ourselves from them in Jesus' name. We'll not have anything to do with them in Jesus' name. And many false prophets shall rise. And shall deceive many. Have you heard that? And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. You know that the love of many is a waxing cold. Many don't find it zealous, interesting to go to church no more. Either because of things that have happened to them in the church. They are cold now. Many are getting cold. The Bible said that the first shall be the last, and the last shall be the first. My brother, my sister, no matter what happens in the church, no matter whatever you have faced in the church, that should not allow you not to go to church. No matter what has happened in your life, move on. Move on and run this race and finish this race. This race is not for your brother, it is for you. Go back to where you started. And finish this race. Finish this race in love. Don't finish this race in anger, in wickedness, in betrayal. Don't finish this race in love. I might be talking to somebody or I am talking to myself. Finish this race, sister. Finish this race in love. And Christ will bless you. Christ will reward us in Jesus' name. The Lord will bless us. The Lord in his infinite mercy will reward us as we continue this race in Jesus' name. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive so many people. So many people have already been deceived. So many people have already been stamped. They have already been killed spiritually and physically. 
there are some they are living but it's as if they are not living hmm. and because iniquity shall abound the love of many shall wax what cold it will, their love will become ice water that they no more read the bible like they used to read the bible they no more pray like they used to pray they no more sing like they used to sing those things that will strengthen them to do the will of god they no more do it they no more evangelize like they used to evangelize before they no more give to the needy that like they used to help the needy before and you see men and women backsliding going back gradually to sin but he that shall endure unto the end the same shall be saved amen but he that shall endure to the end the shape the same shall do what the same shall be saved amen hallelujah this is our portion in jesus name and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come hallelujah and then shall the end come and that is what we are doing today we want to make sure that this gospel reach those that have not heard it or those that have already heard it but yet they still don't believe i believe there is somebody i am talking today i believe there is a man there is a sister i am reaching out today the lord will reach you the lord will touch you the lord will bless you in jesus mighty name we pray amen let's pray next time we'll continue from where we have stopped we will read from matthew chapter of 24 from verse 1 to 14 and we are going to continue from there next time let's pray almighty god we thank you for the word of god which you have fed us about the end time the coming of the lord we know that your coming is very soon and we are praying that lord that you will prepare our hearts in the name of jesus the lord that you will guide our life in jesus name give us wisdom to understand this word give us wisdom oh god to love this word and we also pray for all our friends god that you will touch their hearts you will save their souls god every other man's spirit every other man's soul touch them save them oh god with your mighty power in jesus precious name we pray amen hallelujah i don't know if you have not given your life to christ i want to pray with you and i believe that the lord jesus will come into your heart in jesus name let's pray pray after me lord jesus i'm a sinner forgive me all my sins god i have sinned against you father forgive me i have rebelled against you lord i'm not worthy to be called your child but because of your mercy and because of your grace lord i come to you and because i have heard and that the bible also have told me that if i pray if i forsake my sins that you will forgive me oh lord i come to you and lord i pray and i forsake every sin i have committed i repent of my sins i repent totally oh lord and i ask for mercy that your blood oh lord will wash me clean will pardon me write my name oh god in your book make me a new child O oh God, in Jesus' name, purify my heart. O oh God, save my soul in the name of Jesus. Make me a new person and help me to live righteously. In Jesus' mighty name I've prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Share of brethren, the world works. I believe you are blessed in Jesus' name. You are blessed in Jesus' name. The signs of the end time. Christ is coming very soon. And we want to make sure that we prepare ourselves, that we are zealous, we want to continue, we don't want to get tired, that we continue in this good path that we have taken in Jesus' name. Thank you for joining me on this platform. The Lord will bless you. Subscribe down below and let's take this gospel 
to a different level. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Bye.